The Trump administration has sent an earthquake through the medical research community. The National Institutes of Health is going to have to cut funding by $4 billion. As ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell explains, it's going to affect local researchers who are working on everything from cancer to HIV. Friday night, a blow to the Bay Area's medical researchers. This is going to be a disaster. President Trump's administration announcing the National Institutes of Health is slashing critical funding to universities and medical centers. We will not be able to function because we need the infrastructure, we need the staff, we need people to help us put in the grants. The NIH cutting what's called indirect cost payments down to 15 percent. The payments are made to universities in conjunction with the grants the NIH doles out for research. The money covers everything from administrative staff to facilities such as labs. And top research universities can typically see rates well above 50 percent. So to go down drastically to 15 percent was shocking today. Dr. Monica Gandhi is the director of the UCSF Center for AIDS Research. We will go down to an indirect rate that's so drastically cut we won't be able to do a lot of our work. I'm also very worried about the the uncertainty of what's going to happen. Dr. Pamela it's Munster is a professor of medicine at UCSF. Her cancer treatment research and clinical research trials are often the last line of hope. My patients who are in clinical trials that are funded by the National Cancer Institute, are they continuing um, with their treatment? And like and a lot of patients, as you can imagine, are quite anxious. Meanwhile, Dr. Gandhi says the impacts will be far reaching. Everyone who works at UCSF, which is, of course, one of the biggest employers in the city of San Francisco, they are largely funded by the infrastructure support from the NIH. As of Friday night, the NIH funding cuts are set to go into effect Monday. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.